Canada's biggest night in music with performances by Nickelback, Tate McRae, A.P. Dillon, Jesse Reyes, Ace and Abby, and more. The Junos, live tonight on CBC and CBC Gem. Hello? My guy, it is your favorite agent. Are you ready to do the sequel, bro? Yes, yes, of course, I'm in. Pack your bags, you're going to Edmonton right now. Edmonton? Oh, the Junos, that's what he meant. Awesome. Bigger and better, bigger and better. Hey, boss man, I couldn't remember your coffee order, so I just got you one of everything. Oh, thanks. Hey, what's in the bag? Well, you said I could get myself something, so I got sunglasses. You ready for the Junos? Honestly, I got nothing. Well, call a friend, get some inspiration. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So I was thinking... I... Well, let me stop you right there. Uh, I work for you. I'm not your friend. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh... Okay, I gotta find someone to call. You know, it doesn't have to be so complicated. Hey, listen, I got some advice for you. Don't get slapped. Try to be funny if possible, but don't try too hard. If you screw up, every Asian Canadian will be embarrassed. Anything you do has the potential to become a meme. It's a lot of pressure, but don't think about that. Don't let our country down. Now go get him. Okay, see you. Seriously, you've got to be kidding me right now. Hey, guys, sorry, if you could just keep it down, I'm trying to prep. Oh my God, Nickelback, hey! Why does it feel like we're about to do a bit? Are you wearing a wire? What? Please tell me that you didn't come in here to try and do one of those bits that every award show for the last 30 years has been doing right before the host gets up on stage. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. So you're telling me that we couldn't come up with something that's better than that? Well, what'd you have in mind? 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 Damn it. My Lufa. Dylan, you don't even have hair. Yeah. I just, I feel like you get me. Mm, I get that a lot. I feel so misunderstood sometimes. Mm hmm Simu, showtime! Oh, crap. Uh, sorry, buddy. No, 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 no. What about my second coat? She's had six songs chart on the Billboard Hot 100. Give it up for Tate McRae. She's out of the world, I don't have And she's out of the world, I don't have And she's out of the world, I don't want to be I don't want to be so bad 
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 52nd Annual Juno Awards! <laughs> Woo! Man, it is great to be back. Now, as a first-generation immigrant, I want to respectfully acknowledge the land we are on is Treaty 6 territory and the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 4. We would like to thank the diverse Indigenous peoples whose ancestors have been here since time immemorial. The Nehiyo, Dene, Anishinaabe, Soto, Nakota Sioux, and Nitsitapi peoples. It is also the homeland of the Métis and home to one of the largest communities of Inuit south of the 60th parallel. You guys ready to have a good time? Edmonton Mayor Amarjeet Sohi is in the house tonight. Give it up for him. Now, as a Torontonian myself, how do I put this? Um, we, we have a bit of a thing when it comes to mayors. And let me just say how refreshing it is to see a mayor not do crack in an underpass or engage in a very uncomfortable sex scandal. Uh, Toronto should take note, I think. <laughs> now, we are live from Rogers Place, home of the Oilers, led by Edmonton's other mayor, Connor McDavid. That's right. Now, Connor's having one of the best single season performances since Wayne Gretzky. Incredible. Connor, you, you are the LeBron of hockey right now. Just, just do me a favor, okay? Promise me you will not take your talents to South Beach. Don't do it. Don't do it to these wonderful Edmontonians. We love you. Stay here forever. Isn't that right, Edmonton? Heck yeah. Now, when the producers asked me to come back, uh, I did what any responsible adult would do and left the writing until the last possible second. Uh, but, but that's okay, because we actually uh, live in the age of artificial intelligence. Now, AI can write entire essays for school now. Just ask your kids. Everyone's doing it. So I figure it can write me a monologue for the Junos. Uh, so tonight, we are here for the world's first awards show, Monologue, powered by AI. So let's just bring it up real quick. Um, and we're going to ask, got any ideas for a host monologue for the Juno Awards? Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, put it on the prompter real quick. Um, <clears throat> good evening, Canada, and welcome to the 2023 Juno Awards, huh? Huh? Uh, tonight we honor the best in Canadian music. Okay, we spell honor with a U, but that's fine. Um, I am here to play but a small part and move us through the evening. Okay, I feel like small is a bit of an undersell. But anyway. Um, we have a lot to celebrate tonight, from the newcomers making their mark in the scene to legends in the audience, such as Prime Minister John A. McDonald, <laughs> Poutine, Lake Superior, and the CN Tower? Uh, okay, most of those are not even people. Um, I guess they're still figuring the technology out. See, that's why I'm on stage and uh, AI is not. Okay, well, thank you. Yes, our jobs are safe, you guys. Uh, well, moving on, a lot has happened since the last time I took the Juno stage. Um, well, to start things off, I'm going to be in the freaking Barbie movie, you guys. Yes, yes, I am playing Barbie. That's how much I'm breaking barriers. No, you guys, no, I'm just kidding. They did such a good job keeping the story under wraps, I don't even know what character I played. Okay, all I know is that this image of me made the trailer. Let's take a look. Pretty snazzy, right? It uh, reminds me of a similar photo I took once, about 10 years ago, which I was paid much less for. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> much less snazzy. Ah, it's so nostalgic, I kind of want to sing a song about it. Do we have a guitarist in the, in the front, by the way? Ryan P. from Nickelback? Oh, I'll take that. Gosh, so the year was 2013. I needed some cash really badly, and uh, keep in mind, this was before the age of OnlyFans and feet pics, so... Had to do some stock photos, you know what I mean? I've used a few of them. Gosh, I, I remember that photo shoot like it was yesterday. Ryan, you ready? ready? Let's do it. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me sad. Everybody makes fun of them. Why the hell did I say yes to that? My lawyers tried to take them down. That's not how the internet works. 
I don't think they'll ever fade. Worst hundred dollars that I ever made. Whoa, whoa, oh God, I, I, Every time I see my face in the stock photos, it's a reminder that they will never go. I hate myself, I hate myself. These damn photos, damn photos. Ah. Ryan Peake from Nickelback, everybody. Thanks so much, buddy. Ah, we have a great night ahead. We've got Avril Lavigne, A.P. Dillon, and Jesse Reyes about to hit our stage. And right now to present our very first award, Andrew Fung and Lauren Spencer Smith. Oh, thank you. All right, Lauren. You've had an amazing year, and tonight you're up for the TikTok Juno Fan Choice Award later in the show. Yes, that's the one that fans vote on directly. You still have time to vote, so get on it. Andrew, are you nominated tonight too? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not nominated. I'm like the opposite of nominated, which is not nominated. I, I, like, I don't sing, I, 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 could, I could barely whistle. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as whistling. Oh, it does not. So you're just here to have a good time. Oh, I'm here for a good time. And I'm here to hang out with my boy Simu. I high-fived Chad earlier. I said hi to Jesse Reyes, who's singing later tonight. I'm here to have a good time in Edmonton. So let's have a good time. The nominees for Contemporary R&B Recording of the Year presented by CBC Music are... Contemporary R&B Recording of the Year, presented by CBC Music. When Flowers Bloom, Adria Kane. If I Get Caught, Division. No Longer in the Suburbs, Dylan Sinclair. Yesi, Jesse Reyes. WTF, Savannah Ray. And the Juno goes to... Yesi, Jesse Reyes! Jesse Reyes has now won the Juno for Contemporary R&B Recording three times, bringing her total Juno wins to five. Thank you guys, thank you very much for the recognition. It's an honor to be recognized at home. Um, all the nominees are amazing musical talents, so shout out to Dylan, shout out to my sis, Savannah Ray, shout out to Adria, who graduated with me from the Remix Project, so shout out Remix Project. And also, shout out Division. Daniel Daly was one of my mentors there, so when I say it's an honor to be in this category with people who I admire and artists who are amazing, it is an honor and I mean it profoundly, and shout out Canada, man. Thank y'all very much. <laughs> Coming up, performances by A.P. Dillon and Tennille Towns, and a special appearance by Avril Lavigne. The Juno Awards submission, nomination, and voting process would not be possible without the help of PWC, trusted partner of the 2023 Juno Awards. I look at that person accepting that award, I don't even think I took it in. I really don't think I even understood what was happening. He's every fear and every hope and every single sin. He is the universe. <laughs> 
never heard of him. Oh my god. Blue Rodeo? Oh god. Look at how young they are. Joni Mitchell. Neil Young. And the Juno goes to Chan Art. How is that even possible? What am I wearing? See, I don't even remember this. Mm -hmm. Brian Adams, Joni Mitchell, Blue Rodeo, Neil Young. What do I say? Oh my gosh, it's like a, a completely different human being. Just a whole other lifetime ago. Like the version of me now, I'd be up there talking a blue streak. I'd be up there pontificating, like just to say thank you. I was, I don't even remember what I said, so I was kind of glad that I didn't cry. I'm just looking at, I didn't say anything. I was scared, like holy, and I obviously didn't prepare anything. I, I'm not one millionth of the writer that Joni Mitchell is. She should have won, I probably should have just said, somebody give this to her right now. I mean, Brian, God almighty, it's been fun thinking about all this stuff, and a little bit mortifying at the same time. Content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the 2023 Juno Awards from Alberta's capital city, Edmonton. Live from Rogers Place, here's your host, Simu Liu. You know, one of my favorite parts of hosting the show last year was getting to sing an Avril Lavigne song to Avril Lavigne. But the uh, producers wouldn't give me enough time to sing my whole song, so I'm gonna do it right here, right now. This one's for you, Avril. You sit at home, she's at the Junos. Could she make it any more obvious? She writes her own songs, she invented pop punk. What more can I say? She's just a skated girl, you did it, you made it, girl. She'll never come back down to earth. She's better than all the boys, she's Canada's pride and joy. We'll always look up to her. What's up, guys? Yes way, yes way, I think we need a dance break. Here we go, you guys, you ready? How about that, Canada? I got one more for you real quick.
It's a damn good night Living that rock star life Won't you take me by the hand Take me somewhere new I don't know who you are But I Ready? I'm with you Take me by the hand, take me somewhere new I don't know who you are, but I'm, I'm with you That was great, you guys And here to introduce our next performance, the one, the only, Avril Lavigne amazing. Those dance moves were next level. <laughs> I'll always remember my first Junos 20 years ago, and so much has changed since then. But one thing that will never change is how incredible of an experience it is to perform in front of Junos fans. I'm introducing an artist who's blown up on the global music scene with a new wave of R&B, hip hop, and pop records fused with his Punjabi roots. Based in Victoria, BC, his music has gained a worldwide audience with sold out shows in Canada, the US. Get the fuck off. <laughs> Get the fuck off, bitch. <laughs> he has sold out shows in Canada, the US, the UK, the UE, and India. And this is his moment. <laughs> Coming to the stage next, the first ever Punjabi act to perform at the Junos history. Global phenom. A.P. Dillon! Yeah.
Seems we might be short of steady cam here. Hey, give it up for AP Dillon, everybody! What an incredible performance. I'm sorry, I was just in the back room a few minutes ago. Did I miss anything crazy at all? Did anything happen? Probably not, right? It's the Junos. What could, what could possibly happen? Now, uh, we have another spectacular performer who's won this year's Country Album of the Year for Masquerades. She won that same award two years ago, and yeah, she is the real deal. Tonight is her first time performing on the Juno stage from Grand Prairie, Alberta. Please welcome Tennille Towns. I've seen the northern lights in heaven too, but I ain't ever seen anything like you. If you ever need somebody down the road, you should know I'd steady any ticket line, any mountain I would climb just to find my own. Leave a trail through a forest in the dark. Pave a path to get back to where you are. Pave a path to get back to where. Is it the clock on the wall, or is it nothing at all? Is it the rain on the window falling? Is it the washing machine that keeps on startling me? Is it the sound of you not calling? Who knows? I don't. It's just the sound of being alone. It comes, it goes. It's just the sound of being alone. Too much of anything is never a good thing. Is it a bad thing? I'm good on my own.
When we come back, Alexis on Fire performs, and later, Call Me Chris and Jesse Reyes present the TikTok Juno Fan Choice Award. is a tremendously energetic singer. She is nominated tonight for Most Promising Female Vocalist. Please welcome Katie Lang and The Recline. Who is the most promising female? It has to be a bride. K.D. Lang. I decided I would wear a wedding dress. It feels sentimental. It, it feels funny. It feels embarrassing. I feel proud. <laughs> Hello, I'm Katie Lang. This is my Juno moment. K.D. Lang. I was uh, injecting a lot of humor into it, but uh, but I was very, very moved, and it was a very big moment for me. Back in those days, I really thought of myself as a performance artist, and so, you know, the, the name of the category was Most Promising Female. Now, I was living with a gay boy, and he had a wedding dress in his closet. I thought, okay. I could have been making a statement. You know, whenever I did something conceptually, like I was there, I, I definitely mapped out the different avenues. Isn't that the idea of good art is to uh, provoke, you know, people coming up with ideas and theories of, of the thought behind it? So I'll, I'll let that happen. First of all, I'd like to promise you that I am sincerely honored for your acknowledgement of my determination. Balancing the humor with sincerity. <laughs> I'd like to promise that I will personally thank each and every one who deserves a piece of this pyramid. I promise that I will work harder next year than I have in the past two years. But most of all, I promise that I continue to sing for only the right reasons. I was making a statement on my commitment to the music and to the duty of being an artist. I took the pledge not to to commercialize my music or not to capitalize in the wrong way on my career. I think for the most part I've kept my motivation pure. So I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you very much. I love you. This program features live content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Data and statistics are provided by Luminate, the official data provider of the 2023 Juno Awards. To present the Juno for Breakthrough Artist of the Year, here is the Minister of Canadian Heritage, the Honorable Pablo Rodriguez, and Polaris Prize winning artist, Pierre Quenders. Bonsoir Edmonton, salut tout le monde. It's great to be at the Juniors with you again this year. The Breakthrough Artist of the Year celebrates a new Canadian voice that has emerged from the diverse Canadian music landscape. This award is presented by Factor, which is funded by the Government of Canada and Canada's private radio broadcasters. Our music is, is who we are and our amazing artists like you Pierre, you bring us together, you tell our stories, make us dance, make us so proud, and with the help of the Canada Music Fund, Factor, and Music Actions, our artists can continue to inspire, move, and bring joy to so many people here in Canada and around the world. Yes, uh, Factor helps amplify the creative voices of the music community, and the rock is essential for artists like myself. 
And as we work hard to keep Canada's voices and culture strong, I have absolutely no doubt that we are going to see even more Kenyan artists break through like these incredible nominees. Let's go. Breakthrough Artist of the Year presented by Factor, the government of Canada and Canada's private radio broadcasters. I got wasted because I Dax. didn't want to deal with myself tonight. She's a woman in Devin Cole. Because I need you like the flowers. Preston Pablo. Realist K. Rev. And the Junos goes to <laughs> Preston Pablo. From Timmins, Ontario, Preston Pablo has been nominated three times, and this is his first Juno win. Oh my God, this is insane. Wow. Um, first of all, I'd just like to thank my family for being my biggest supporter from the drone. My brother Dawson, man, for just really pushing me to keep doing this and to, to get here. I'd like to thank my amazing management, Cole, Matt. I love you guys, the whole Coalition family. My amazing label, Universal Music Canada. Thank you guys. My brothers, Banks and Ranks, Rev, my sister. And my agency as well, Pake. And wow, who am I forgetting? Um, the amazing fans for being such a huge part of why I'm here today. Thank you all so much. I love you all. It's amazing. Let's go. Fresh off their win for Rock Album of the Year for Otherness, here is Alexis on Fire with Sans Soleil.
Congratulations to The Weeknd for winning Artist of the Year. And congratulations to John Doerr on winning Comedy Album of the Year. Presented by Sirius XM Canada. friend Jeremy didn't get a chance to finish, so he's gonna finish the night as he should. Jeremy! Yeah, I was not expecting any of that. This is what holding space looks like. Thank you. You know, to have our languages on television and on award shows or on red carpets or whatever, it's like, that's all new. Like, any chance I get to to share that space, I always start and I always finish in Mulistagwe. Okay, Canada, I've got 60 seconds, so let's get down to this. Because of that, I feel a sense of responsibility to hold those spaces in a way that's uh, responsible and uh, accountable to my community. I want all the other nominees in this category to stand up, please. Indigenous is not a genre, you know? <laughs> all of your work changes this place. Simultaneously, it's like important to have that representation there. If our people didn't fight to have that category included, there would be, there'd be nothing. Because our music is not niche. Our music is saying something. And, and now we're starting to see, you know, uh, Indigenous artists be nominated outside of these categories. And I think that's really good. And I think we're transitioning into a place where our music and our languages are considered to be mainstream or part of the, the musical fabric of, of what even is Canadian music. I don't know how many more times they're gonna let me do this. <laughs> so Justin. J Justin. Reconciliation. There we go. That's and the band played him out. Uh, so <laughs> it's like, you know, that's like such a classic like movie thing and then the music like goes up. You know, I was just like, okay, it's not my time to talk about this yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Arkells. And then the Arkells won for, I think it was best rock album of the year. And Max comes over from the Arkells and says, hey, come finish your speech. Uh, our friend Jeremy didn't get a chance to finish, so he's gonna finish the night as he should. Jeremy! Come on. Yeah, I was not expecting any of that. And don't cut off the f don't start the music. He's gonna go as long as he wants, okay? This is what holding space looks like. Thank you. As I was saying. Reconciliation. It's a lofty goal. It's a lofty goal. And it doesn't happen in a year. It takes time. It takes stories. It takes shared experience. It takes music. When we, when we can put a label on something and say, well, we've said we're sorry and, 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 and that's it. We still live with those legacies every day, you know? I have hope. I have to. I just want to say this. Niga niang to be the hadaman. Thank you. You know, whatever, winning the award, doing the speech, you know. But we're here to just keep singing songs that ever more reflecting our place in the world. Good music is good music. And, and in my mind, indigenous people are making some of the, the best music in the country right now. content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Junos were previously awarded in the following categories. Artist of the Year, presented by Sirius XM Canada. International Album of the Year. Breakthrough Group of the Year, presented by Factor, the Government of Canada, and Canada's private radio broadcasters. Songwriter of the Year, presented by SoCan. Country Album of the Year, presented by Edmonton's Best Hotels. Adult Alternative Album of the Year, presented by Long and McQuaid Musical Instruments. Alternative Album of the Year. Vocal Jazz Album of the Year. Jazz Album of the Year, Solo. Jazz Album of the Year, Group. Instrumental Album of the Year. Album Francophone de l'Ami. Children's Album of the Year. Single of the Year. Please welcome co-founder of Ishkode Records, producer, activist, and two-time Juno Award-winning artist, Shoshona Kish. Anin Bozo, 
Josh Kobaneze Kwe Desnikaz Mikazi Dodem Bachawana and Donjaba Ojibwe Anishinaabe and Dao. When I first heard this next performer, I immediately knew that he had a beautiful gift. His 2023 Juno nomination, his debut album, Watin, is inspired by his grandfather's lives and stories. And we will watch some of the images of him during his performance. He is part of the Ishkade Records family, I'm so proud. His new single, Nomads, has gone to number one on alternative radio. Please join me in welcoming from Sandy Lake First Nation, Asanavi. And joining him on stage is multi Juno nominees from Treaty Six Territory, Northern Cree. I was eight years old and I went to a residence school. Somebody from outside uh, the government person said if you don't uh, send your kids out, or I want to help you. That's why I went to school. He had no choice. It was over 300 kids that went to school. And I used to cry. I was lonesome. I was wondering why I was uh, sent here. And I didn't, I didn't know why. What did I do wrong? Does it feel like we're on the edge? Staring down at certain day. Does it feel like the story ends before it starts? We were here in these faded memories, so we were here in these fleeting stories, so we were here in these disappearing words, even when they start. Losing me in It's in our blood It's in our blood oh, oh, oh. It's in our blood It's in our blood Just like the days is not been dark in the morning rain. I guess you know, just like the snow we fall, we memory fade away. A month, a day, a week, a year, just like to say that we were here. We were here in these faded memories, so we were here. And so we so we were here in these disappearing words, even when they start losing me. What a stunning performance by Ace and Abby in Northern Cree. I think the ancestors are proud. The Junos 
will return with Gordon Lightfoot and Corey Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, Ann Murray. There's Ann. She, what a professional, a wonderful professional entertainer she was. She quit years ago. He has inspired many. But who inspires Gordon Lightfoot? When asked, who is your favorite songwriter? Gordon said, of all the multitudes around, I'd have to go with Bob Dylan. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Dylan. She's still my all-time favorite, Ann Murray. Bob Dylan. I find it actually kind of, kind of hard to watch. But, but it's there, and like, like, he didn't have to do it. Uh, but, he, but, but he did it anyway, you know? Pleased with me to be here and give this award to Gordon. I've known Gordon for a long time. And uh, I know he's been offered this award before, but he has never accepted it because uh, he wanted me to come and give it to him. So, uh... Oh, God. All right, uh, here he is now, Gordon Lightfoot. It, it, it meant a lot to me. I mean, really, I mean, it, it was uh, great, great of him to do so. It was a big deal. I had my mom there and my sister and family members there. There were a whole bunch of people there for that deal. Okay. All right, here it is. One grateful guy from Marilla. I just walked into it and walked through it and said, so here we are. It's, it's the, the, the award for the year. Thank you very much. And I, I was quite deeply my honored. Influence, my main influence is back there. Standing backstage here, Bob Dylan, who taught me how to write lyrics. And I was surprised as hell that Dylan showed up to do it, because I didn't know he was going to do it either. I want to thank Bob Dylan again for doing that. He and I go back to uh, sort of the Albert Grossman office in New York, and uh, I appreciate very much the fact that he would take the time to uh, come and help out one of his uh, old stable mates. Th then we, we went up to the, to the dinner after, and Ronnie Hawkins was there. They, we, we, it was all sort of the... A little group of people. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good night. features live content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the 52nd Annual Juno Awards from Edmonton, Alberta. It's time for the Canadian Music Hall of Fame induction presented by TD. Please put your hands together for Simu Liu. Since 1978, Karis has inducted 57 artists into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. 57 is a very exclusive club. I'm pretty sure there's way more than 57 Avengers, even. The Hall of Fame ceremony has been absent for the past few years. No idea why. But on May 18th in Calgary at Studio Bell, the home of the National Center for Music, Karis is bringing back the Canadian Music Hall of Fame ceremony. And this year's inductees are country star Terry Clark. Yes. Vancouver Rockers Trooper, Quebec singer Diane Dufresne, and legendary jazz pianist Oliver Jones. And here's Canadian sweetheart Ryan Reynolds to tell us about tonight's inductee, who you may have heard of. There are millions of reasons to be a proud Canadian, and tonight, the Junos in Canada are coming together to celebrate one of them. Homegrown talent from right here in Alberta, Joni Mitchell. Nickelback. Oh, love Nickelback. Wasn't Joni Mitchell in Nickelback? Right. Nickelback. 
Amazing. They're from Alberta too, right? Well, that's a very talented province. Uh, well, what do I what do I know about Nickelback? Um, gosh, off the top of my head. From humble beginnings in Hannah, they started as a covers band called Village Idiot, playing the local bars and clubs with a set list of songs from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Cult, and Metallica. But the band wanted more than just singing other people's songs, and so a road trip to Vancouver and a name change saw the evolution to Nickelback. True Canadian hard graft followed as Chad, Mike, Ryan Peake, and Ryan Vickadal hustled for gigs and word of mouth started to spread slowly. They toured non-stop. Albums like Curb and The State had put Nickelback on the national rock music scene, but a writing session in 2001 was about to change all of that. This is how you remind me of what I really am. It's not like you. How You Remind Me exploded here in Canada, in the US, in Europe, everywhere. If you turned on the radio in 2001, you couldn't miss it. Nickelback had gone global. Every 40-something has sung this song at the top of their voice in a bar. It's a rite of passage, and it's become the most played song of the decade. This started an unbelievable ride that took the band to the four corners of the globe, and the hits kept on coming, with Daniel Adair joining the band in 2005 for the multi-million selling album, All the Right Reasons. With five huge hit singles, including Photograph and Rockstar, continuing to dominate radio airplane charts, it remains one of the best-selling albums of all time. Nickelback remains the 11th best-selling music act of all time. We'd be turning up the stereo. Billboard magazine's a rock group of the decade, a heap of Grammy nominations, 12 Junos, six Billboard Awards, and over 50 million albums sold worldwide. Granted, there have been 100 million memes too, but an ever-growing army of new fans are finding their music in places like TikTok, Instagram, and also in record-breaking holiday movies. They remain one of the best live bands on the planet, still selling out arenas the world over. Hey boys, Buble here. Congratulations on a well-deserved honor. The truth is, you earned it. Your dedication, your incredible talent, and your hard work have led you here. And, uh, you know, you are an inspiration to every Canadian kid who dreams of reaching their potential the way that you have. I'm so happy. The only thing I wish is that I could be partying with you tonight. Tonight, it's time to honor these huge rock stars, and who better to introduce the band on stage there in Edmonton than another local legend, Captain of the Edmonton Oilers. Please welcome hockey phenomenon, Connor McDavid. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You guys are too much. You guys are too much. You guys are too much. You know how much I love playing here in front of you guys, so. Tonight I'm doing something a little bit different, um, but I'm so proud to be up here standing in front of you guys. Um, the Hall of Fame, every institution has one. It's everybody's goal to be in one. It's a place that reminds you of legacies and excellence and how certain players have changed the game forever. <laughs> the names in the hall inspire you. They make you want to get close to that level of greatness. Tonight, the Canadian Music Hall of Fame is inducting my friends, Nickelback. Nickelback has brought my family and friends a lot of great memories over the years and kept a lot of neighbors up in the process. Tonight, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you the pride of Alberta, Nickelback. 
Congratulations to Nickelback on their Canadian Music Hall of Fame induction, presented by TD. Wow, wow. Before, before we say anything, how badass is it to be in Edmonton and have the best hockey player in the world right now give that award to us? Plugging his own movie in there too, I love that. Yeah, that was nice. That's, I love that. Okay, so they induct you into the Canadian Hall of Fame and they gave us 120 seconds to talk. I'm not kidding, two minutes. They're like, two minutes. Get I'm to go it. fast, here we go. 27 years, blood, sweat and tears started off 300 kilometers southeast of here in a little town called Hannah. We had no idea what we were doing, and most of the time still don't. Uh, but everything we did wound up leading us to this moment right here. But we didn't make it here without a lot of help, and so we got a ton of thank yous we're gonna try and get through in the, what, the 45 seconds we got left. Mom, Dad, love you. Thank you for giving birth to half the band. High five. High five. Uh, our lawyer, John Simpkin, has been with us from the beginning when nobody wanted to touch this band with a 10-foot pole. He was there from the beginning. Ralph James, our legendary booking agent, who put us on the road with the Headstones, Matthew Good, Big Sugar, every single band that would let us open for them, thank you. Our managers, Chief and Simon. Chief started off as our road manager 22 years ago, and now he manages the band. Charlotte Thompson, all of the great record labels, and this band has been around for 27 years. We've been signed to every label out there. Greg Souders, thank you for writing us our first publishing check and allowing me to buy my first home. You're a badass. That's good for me. Pete, take it away, brother. Go. All I got to thank is my beautiful family, Brittany, yeah. Caleb, and Shay. Love yeah. you. Awesome. I'd like to thank uh, my wife, Tomoe, and the kids back home, Shin and Sakura. I'd just like to thank my family, my wife, Angela, daughter, Avalon, son, Dawson, and my parents. Thank you so much for bringing us here, and thank you all for doing Absolutely. this for us. And there's a lot of people that didn't make the list, but we thank you. Thank you, you know who you are. Thanks for keeping it tight, guys. Um, I gotta thank my mom and dad, uh, Jim and Betty Peak, for the constant support through the years, um, of course. My beautiful wife, Trina, who's traveled down this path with me from the very beginning. And our amazing kids, Dax and Acadia, they grew up on the road. It was, it's pretty amazing. My brother Jason and Melanie family, I love you all. We have to thank the Junos. I've got to thank these guys, Chad, Mike, and Daniel, for the journey of a lifetime. Uh, I've got to thank the drummers that played a part in our in Nickelback history, Brandon Kruger, uh, Mitch Gaindon, uh, Ryan Vickadol. Yeah. There was, there's so many people that have been a part of our history. We wouldn't be here without them. Sincere apologies if we've forgotten lots of people. Brian Coleman, thank you for all the, the years of guidance. Uh, our two Brads, Brad Roos and Bradley Kine, this wouldn't happen as for us tonight if these guys didn't do their job. They're the best at what they do. All of our crew, Chris Dawson, I can't do this without you. We love our job because everywhere music brings people together. Music transcends pettiness. Music lets us feel other experiences. Music shows how alike we all are around the world. It is that simple. 
and we've been fortunate enough to, to see it and experience it with people everywhere. Like I said, we love our job, and it's you, the fans, who have done that the for fans, us. The fans, the so fans. Thank you so much. We're forever grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Our Canadian Music Hall of Fame performance presented by TD is still to come. After the break, a collaboration that could only happen at the Junos, Banks and Ranks, Rev, and Preston Pablo. Morissette, and this is my Juno's moment. Live from Edmonton, Alberta, it's the 2004 Juno Awards. Hosted by Alanis Morissette. As you may or may not be aware, recently in the United States, I ran into a little problem with regards to a lyric in one of my songs. It was right during a time where Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake were in the middle of Nipplegate, as they called it. So I'm assuming that most people understood what the commentary was about, and if not, just a quick Google will help you out. <laughs> it was requested that I change a word in the first verse. Oh. Well, I am overjoyed to be back in my homeland, the true north, strong and censor free. Is that true? <laughs> a place where I'm allowed to say things like <laughs> and It really opened up a whole censorship conversation, which was exciting. From what I remember, Joanna Stein and I have been really close since I just first moved to LA and she happened as one does, she happened to have a naked suit, and she said, you know, what can we do with this? I am truly proud to be able to stand here. Uh-oh. <laughs> and do this. It was the perfect combination. This, the, the suit with the commentary was exactly, I think, timely for us. And cracked us up. It was meant in great activism jest, which is my favorite. Uh, Alanis, Alanis. Hi, Harv. Actually, you can't do that, Alanis. What do you mean? Well, we can't show national television. The parts are falling off. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay. And you can't show your pubic hair either. <laughs> so oh. elegant. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All of it, Alanis. All of it. <laughs> okay. Hi. I was out of my wheelhouse in terms of hosting the Junos. So yes, I was nervous, but you know. Nothing I can't move through. I feel great. The Juno's just filled with predominantly Canadian people, so I felt I felt at home. Thank you, frailty. Thank you, consequence. Thank you. In my video uh, for Thank You that I did years ago, you know, for me, one of the most exciting parts of the conversation of censorship, especially around the body, is um, distinguishing between, you know, hypersexualized music video, female body, and sensual and not hypersexualized. There's a message through the visual for me, always a message through comedy and certainly through music and, and just showing up that night. So if we're to start any kind of conversation that would allow for more freedom and a less hatred of our bodies. I feel great. A little cold though, but really great. program features live content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. You're watching the 52nd Annual Juno Awards in Treaty 6 Territory, Edmonton, where we are celebrating the best music in Canada. And to honor Canadian music educators, please welcome your host, Simu Liu. Now, each year, Music Counts celebrates music teachers through our Music Counts Teacher of the Year Award presented by the CST Foundation. And you know, I remember my music teacher, Mrs. K, she was amazing. I have such fond memories of being in her class, being passionate about music, you know? And uh, this is really exciting. I've just learned that she's actually prepared a pre-recorded message for me. Uh, so I can't wait to see what she has to say. Let's take a look, you guys. It's rare to have a student who's so confident and so lazy 
Usually I'd find him skipping class, playing Nintendo 64 in the cafeteria with his friends. That's right, Simu, I always knew. So please, stop telling people I was your teacher. It makes me look bad. Uh, g give it up for Mrs. K, everyone. All right, let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? I'm gonna pick myself back off of the floor. The five nominees for the 2023 Music Counts Teacher of the Year Award this year are Heidi Wood, Jewel Castleman, Kelly Stronach, Stephen Richardson, and Susan Avoy. And our winner is Jewel Castleman. Congratulations to you. Now, nurturing the love of music from a young age is so critically important, but in order to nurture that love, teachers need access to instruments and equipment that will address the changing needs and interests of their students. But we all know schools don't always get the funding they need for this. And that's why I am so happy to tell you the Slate Family Foundation is generously donating $2 million over five years to music accounts. That's right, give them a hand. Now this donation will create a new grant program called the Music Counts Slate Family Foundation Innovation Fund. And through this new program, teachers can acquire the musical gear they need to implement technology forward or culturally relevant music programs at their school. Along with the amazing work of music teachers like our five nominees here, this grant will fuel the future of music education in this country. And you never know, one of you out there may just be here getting your very own Juno Award someday because of inspirational teachers like Jewel Castleman. Now, we've got another banging performance for you tonight. This is the winner of Breakthrough Artist of the Year, Preston Pablo, Platinum Certified Juno winner, Rev, and Multi-Platinum Juno winning duo from Montreal to the world, Banks and Ranks. So lonely, you 
seems like there is no one around to hold me And my head gets dark and heavy But then I see your face And I can only hope for the best And I can only breathe with my chest One step at a time, oh, you take me You're leaving me blind, but don't leave me Cause I need you like the flowers need the rain I need you like the sun when the clouds turn gray Don't forget to check out Call Me Chris's exclusive interview with Nickelback, presented by TD. Head to CBC Music's TikTok channel. Coming up next, Bean and Tyler Shaw present Album of the Year, and Jesse Reyes performs. Gentlemen, Corey Hart. Just a little more time. Without music or the Junos, <laughs> I would have never met my precious Julie. You know, I realized that music and love are the two most powerful forces in, in my life. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Corey Hart, and here is my Juno's moment. Thank you. I... He was asked to present at the 1993 Juno Awards alongside another Montreal musician named Julie Mass. That fateful introduction became the love story of their lifetime. Live from Toronto's O'Keefe Center, it's the 22nd annual Juno Award. It was 1993, and I was nominated, and I was going to be presenting that year. And Julie also was nominated for Most Promising Female Vocals. He's an internationally successful star, and she is tonight's Most Promising Female Vocalist. Corey Hart and Julie Mass. I was unfamiliar with Julie, but because she's from my hometown and I love my hometown, um, I love my province of Quebec, I was like, yeah, that sounds, that sounds awesome. Before we get started tonight, um, there's two uh, Montrealers up here. I'd just like to, uh, Celine, are you over there? I'd just like to uh, congratulate Celine on the fine job she's doing in English yeah. tonight. It's very, very good. When, when we presented that, uh, that night, and poor Julie, because I went off script as well, there was a teleprompter. And Corey starts his line, then I do mine, and then all of a sudden the prompter is going up and down like that because Corey is not saying what's on the teleprompter. He's completely speaking about something I have no clue what he's saying. And I'm completely lost because I, I don't even understand what he's saying. Well, in rock and roll it's true that if it doesn't kill you, it will make you stronger. So let's look at a very strong group of nominees. And then we, we came off stage, my manager was completely thinking that he had the best idea in the world was for Corey to write songs for me. So that's what we did, but obviously at the same time, I guess it ended my career because we fell in love and that was the end for me. I live and still live and breathe for Corey. We fell madly in love and uh, we're 27 years, uh, four kids later and going strong.
2023 Juno Awards are back. All right, Edmonton, are you ready to see who's taking home Album of the Year? To let us know, hear from CBC's Push, Bean Gill, and Tyler Shaw. What's up, Edmonton? Where's my wheelie peeps at? Hometown proud, Alberta, represent! We got Tate McRae, Tennille Towns, and of course, Nickelback. And I get to present with TikTok Juno Fan Choice nominee, Tyler Shaw. Hey, Tyler. Hello, B. I'm a big fan of a lot of the artists tonight, but my favorite part of the Junos is getting to see new musicians owning the stage. I know how important it is for artists to come together for a greater cause. Recently, over 50 Canadian artists came together for a mashup and video of What I Wouldn't Do and North Star Calling in support of Kids Help Phones Feel Out Loud movement, which is the largest youth mental health movement in Canadian history. One in two Canadian youth struggle alone with their mental health, and this is a problem. Kids Health Phone is a call or text away and is there to help you. You are not alone, and you will be heard. Please call or text KHP. Music Canada is also a champion of the Kids, phone, kids Help Phone Feel Out Loud movement. The Album of the Year Award is presented by Music Canada and they represent Canada's major record labels, Sony, Universal, and Warner. They've always been there for the artists, and we appreciate their support. Here are the nominees. Album of the Year, presented by Music Canada. Who Hurt You? Ali Gotti. Love Sucks, Avril Lavigne. Demons protected by angels. Nav. I used to think I could fly. Tate McRae. Dawn FM. The weekend. Okay, this is it. It's the big moment. The Juno for album of the year goes to. Dawn FM, the, the weekend. weekend. <laughs> Unfortunately, the weekend couldn't be here tonight, but with this win tonight, I know, I know. Listen, this is a fun fact. With this win tonight, the weekend is in second place for the most Juno wins ever. I'm going to accept this award on his behalf. He'll have to come get it at my house. Now, I am extremely excited to introduce this next act. She is phenomenal. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce my good friend, Jesse Ray. Sorry, and said that you wish we could talk. Well, guess what? You're about seven months late. Our mutual friend don't know that you're too self serving, but I do, and that's why your words don't mean shit. And guess what? This heartbreak morphed into hate, and you should be great that I didn't hurt you back. And if you die tomorrow, I don't think I cry. I gave you one too many nights. Don't care if it's down cold. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. And if you die tomorrow, I don't think I cry. I gave you one too many Friend, had 
front row tickets to all our events every time that you played all your games well guess what i got no hobbies these days and never again will i let you turn me back into a mess that bitch has been on a car in a milk and guess what your car was then you love me still yeah and you should be grateful I didn't hurt you by And if you die tomorrow I don't think I cry I gave you one too many nights Don't care if it's down cold It is what it is Yeah, yeah And if you die tomorrow I don't think I cry I gave you one too many nights Don't care if it's down cold Get ready. When we come back, Cardinal Official, Havaya Mighty, and some very special guests celebrate 50 years of hip-hop in Canada. Also, stay tuned for the Canadian Music Hall of Fame performance presented by TD. Coming up. Family is the Maestro Fresh West, and you're watching my Dino's Morning. The renaissance of dance music has come in a variety of sounds and styles, too numerous to be denied. It is hip hop, however, that dominates and permeates the new dance spectrum. That was the inaugural year. That's when the, the Canadian Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences had to implement the best rap recording of the year. To present the award for best rap recording. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mitsu and the two other guys. I like Mitsu, Mitsu was fresh. Look at Mitsu, look at Mitsu. The nominees for rap recording of the year are yeah, Wash, your, wash your Face in My Sink, Dream Warriors. King Lou, what up? Q, what up? So listen from MCJ and Cool G. Back to facts, MCJ and Cool G. I was just happy for them because they're from Halifax. Dance to the music. Simply Majestic featuring Be Cool. What up, Be Cool? Carlito. And Take Me Like I Am, Spunkadelic. Peace. Spunkadelic back in the day. Symphony in effect, Maestro, Fresh Wet. You listen to every word I say. Every bird, the bird I play, snaps the bird to break. You try to cover, a hover me, a roast, a fake, a flag that I run a As I was hearing the nominees, I can't front. I was nervous. My heart was pounding, but I said to myself, man, you know they better give me this award. But it was also a little doubt that, yo, I could get this. And the Juno goes to... At that specific time, you know, backbones were sliding in full effect, just like the T-shirt I'm rocking. So I felt that, yeah, it would be nice if I got the award. But there's always some doubts. My man, Symphony in Effect, Maestro Fresh West. So to be honest, right now, everything is like uh, kind of surreal to me because I know it wasn't just about me. 
I was representing black music in Canada, understand? So I knew it was it was bigger than than hip hop, beyond just the parameters of rap music. This was something that that was um was was uh, legendary. All right. That's where my head was at. It wasn't. That's why I got nervous when I was doing my speech because I knew it wasn't just about me. Okay. First of all, I gotta thank God, my family, and my crew. So I got a slogan: Don't make records, make history. And this day right here symbolized this was history in the making. You know. I definitely gotta thank the Juno staff and everybody else for KRS for uh, recognizing not only rap music but black music in Canada. Thank you. This is just a part of our history right now. You know, and it's time to celebrate, especially when it's Juno time. music exec known as Canada's hip hop ambassador joining us to celebrate 50 years of hip hop. Give it up, Cardinella Fischel and her Martin. In 1973, Jamaican native DJ Cool Herc held a legendary back to school jam in the Bronx. From there, we were introduced to a new form of music and culture, but show love specifically to what Canada has contributed to the if radio was the medium, then hip hop was the message that played in Montreal on DJ Butcher T and Michael Williams Club 980 and Toronto's Fantastic Voyage with Ron Nelson. Uh -huh. Dropping dimes, underground radio made power moves, master plans, and street jams in Toronto and created soul sonic shocks in Van City. This finally meant airplay for hip hop pioneers like Mr. Q, the man behind Canada's first known hip hop single, Ladies Delight. And speaking of ladies, this female MC was the person who taught me how to embrace my Caribbean heritage while still calling Canada my home. Here to perform Jamaican funk, ear tune, and welcome, Missy B. As rap moved from the airwaves to physical spaces like Concert Hall, Spectrum, and the Rivoli, fans flock to hear sound systems like Kilowatt with Lady P, Chic Dynasty, and Sunshine Sound Crew. We all tuned into Rap City and extend the mix for videos from artists like Be Cool, the first rapper to win a Juno, Simply Majestic, Frank Morrell, MCJ, and Cool G, Kish, Rumble, and of course, Canada's first undeniable superstar, Maestro Fresh West. Leading the way on a global takeover, a jazz-infused hip-hop duo out of Jane and Finch pioneered a new sound while becoming the first Canadian hip-hop group to go gold and platinum in the, mid in the multiple countries across the world. They were bold, they were brave, they were ours. Here to perform my definition, the legendary Dream Warrior. What is this? My, my definition, definition of a boom jazz style. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Here we go, are you ready for another? Dream Warriors noise is due to suffer, oh. Once again with a new blend, so telephone a friend. Yo, Dream Warriors live, people, check it out. Now compact this to the prime is optimist. Fans are friends, I'm universal and cosmic. Yet concrete jungles are bound. Yo, stand by the speakers, they smothered and covered up in the sun. You stand strong as you pump your fist. I'm, I'm talking all that jazz. You! Now what's my definition? My definition. What I do? Sing! My definition. My definition is this. My definition. I can hear you. My definition. My definition. My definition is this. My definition. My definition. Make some noise! Show, show, show. Known as the golden era of hip hop, the 90s introduced us to pivotal players in the game. Like back to back Juno Award winner, shout out Rexdale Ghetto Concept, Socrates, Swollen Members, Dogmatic, Maximum Definitive, and Chaos. DIY trailblazers such as Monolith, Citizen Kane, The Circle, with Terra Chase, GCP, Frankenstein, Grassroots, Point Blank, Mathematics, Red Life, and rest in peace, the black eye. They were just some of the players who changed the landscape of hip hop as we know it in Canada. Big up the rascals whose resistance made space for hip hop in the national conversation. And their posse cut Northern Touch featured Cardi, Checkmate, Thrust, and Chocolate Connecting Coast. His album Ice Cold went gold in 30 days and drew attention from some of the biggest in the game, including Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Here to perform his Juno Award winning his single, Let's Fly, produced by my co-host, Cardi. Give it up for Shaq Claire! It's a knock of the chin stocks. Party while I'm wine drinking. Buzz up, buzz up, right through your thinker. Forget your strategies when you battle. As international record sales. Crowds on the It's a chizzo on the shot coast. Run the street like, like a, a black hole. For the shots ring out. People never seen her. Right through your HQ. Like a so pack of dirt. Take curve from the game. So I'm playing. I'm all black like the Raiders. Wonder how I did it. I'm on the It's the night inning. Way too well. So you the home run to left field. I call it into Philly. Do the other stuff. Me? Ha! Really? No more girl the tactics can stop, stop my theatrics. Make it leave backflip. Understand it's all about the sexual Let's go, let's go, let's ride. Dream of my father, we can all just ride. You wanna get down, then we can all just ride. Baby, put your hands apart. Just ride. Where we from? Let's go, let's ride. Yeah, 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 Working with him in his mixtape days, one of my favorite Canadian MCs went on to be the world's favorite. The world would not look the same if it wasn't for the unprecedented talent, influence, and vision of mans like Drake. He continued to open doors and help focus the world's attention on our thriving hip hop scene, which of course includes <laughs> my critically acclaimed and award-winning co-host, the great Havaya Maite! From Belly to Classified, Nav to Mercules, Shad to Cadence Weapon, YSN Fab to TV Gucci to Attach to the Amazon, Snotty to those Rez kids to Smiley, Matt Mac to Northside Benji from King Rain to Pat Stay. Joining that group and perfectly in key with tonight's theme with a song about growth and giving people their flowers before it's too late. Juno Award winning and five time nominee, please welcome Toby with flowers. Up, 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 up. Uh, uh, 20 minutes left with the therapist telling her the truth, and I'm just hoping that she's hearing it. I change the game because this game is not at all fair. Brought my dogs out from the rain because ain't no one care. Why they wait to give us your flowers when you cannot smell? And why they wait to lift you up when they're your ball bears? If time is money, I need me a rich and milly. Doing this in the work to ensure my demons will feel me this. 90 minutes with my therapist up. The misadventures of a sensitive thug. I'm leaving notes, it's like my memory sucks. I hail Mary and the stands are abrupt. As soon as I touch down and the ends will be up. And that's for me, boy. Rock, 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 rock. I can't
Tonight, as we celebrate 50 years of hip hop, who better to present the nominees for 2023's Rap Album of the Year than the first ever Juno Award winner for Best Rap Recording. Everybody in Edmonton, make some noise for Maestro Fresh Way! Let your backbone slide. Just so let it slide. Just let it slide. Edmonton! For what I say. Everybody make some noise! DJ Mount Boogie! I know you're my sister and everything, but. Edmonton, how you feeling? I wrote my very first rhyme. 44 years ago. I put out my very first record 34 years ago. Although I was born and raised in Toronto, I lived four years in Vancouver, and I currently live in St. John, New Brunswick, and have lived there, yeah, for the past three years. I'm from Toronto, but I embody Canadian hip hop. And now I want to ask all the performers to join me as we announce the nominees for the 2023 Rap Album EP of the Year. Come on, everybody. And the nominees are... Rap Album EP of the Year, presented by Sirius XM Canada. Gonzo, Boslin. I just need some little old piece of mine. I know you never heard Retrospected this Acoustic Classified the, the Fleur Print Volume 2 Jazz Cartier Demons Protected by Angels Now Can I keep going? Shall I continue? Toby Shall I continue? Toby Man Can I keep going? So the rap album slash EP of the year presented by Sears XM Canada goes to Toby! winning rap album EP of the year in 2021. This is Toby's second win in the category. My brother. Yes, sir. I call it soul music because it comes from it. I put my soul through it. I've been growing from it. I built the same Wow, thank you so much for this. First of all, I want to give a big thank you to the Junos and to Karis for showing love. My first time in Edmonton. I'd like to give a big thank you to my team, David Lee, John Tanners, my fam at St. Play, RCA Records, Sony Music, thank you so much. Um, I wanna say a big shout out to all the legends on the stage with me right now. You know, as an artist coming from Lagos, Nigeria, coming to Canada, it means so much to me to be on this stage. And hip hop is what I live and what I breathe. And I wanna say, I made this album working on something that's the greatest thing that I've ever worked on and it's coming out next year and I can't wait for you to see it. Thank you so much. Much love. Congratulations to Toby on winning Rap Album EP of the Year presented by Sirius XM Canada. Hey, what's up? I'm Deborah Cox, and this is my Juno's Moment. Now join us in welcoming Canada's own superstar, Deborah Cox. This is a fun performance. It's always fun to do the dance version. Wow. And my dancers! Oh, we did so many incredible shows together. Choreographed by Darren Henson, who did In Sync, who did uh, Michael Jackson, 
how I performed in those shoes. I have no idea. <laughs> it was life changing, that song. Absolutely life changing. It was one of those songs that I think just touched every soul. Every single person that heard that song has a story to, to tell me when I meet them. Ooh, brings tears to my eyes because it's like the journey, you know? Ooh, uh, I'm crying because I just remember how, how much traveling, how I was just on the road, on the road. I was going, going, going. I left um, one of the biggest tours with Celine Dion to, to pursue my own dream. And here I was at the Junos performing and It was really gratifying, like really validating. Well, you got a real reaction. <laughs> so looking back, I made the right decision. I was there at the Juno Awards performing my song that was the longest running song in the history of R&B music, number two on the charts. When I think back, I'm going, And that's why I got super emotional. I just didn't know what the future was gonna hold, but I just, the complication of working through all those emotions was harder than the actual performance on stage. I stepped away and, and took a chance on myself, on my, my own career, LaSalle's and I. Took a chance and went and, and took those meetings and here we are, wow. Oh, the crowd, the screams, the, the cheers. The, there's nothing like that. That is, that's everything. It's, it's just one of those songs that just, that, yeah, changed the trajectory of my career, absolutely. This program features live content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Junos were previously awarded in the following categories. Jack Richardson, Producer of the Year, presented by Audio-Technica. Recording Engineer of the Year. Album Artwork of the Year. Music Video of the Year, presented by YouTube. Electronic Album of the Year. Metal Hard Music Album of the Year. Adult Contemporary Album of the Year. Comedy Album of the Year, presented by Sirius XM Canada. Traditional R&B Soul Recording of the Year. Rap Single of the Year. Underground Dance Single of the Year. Traditional Indigenous Artist or Group of the Year. And the Walt Grealis Special Achievement Award was awarded to Ron Sakamoto. All right, Juno fans, it's time to see who you chose as your TikTok Juno's Fan Choice winner. Here to present the award are Jesse Reyes and TikTok superstar, Call Me Chris. Hello, it's the TikTok Fan Choice, and I get to present it with one of TikTok's biggest stars, Call Me Chris. I may or may not creep you just a little bit. Are you, I creep you too. Okay, cool. So there we go. Okay. We could be friends or something. Yeah, I don't know. We could be friends. Okay, cool. Okay. It's you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, you could say we're each other's fan choice. Yes. The best thing about this award is that it's your choice. No committees, juries, just you, the fans, showing your support. And of course, that's who we listen to, the fans. Tonight we got your votes, millions of votes, and it was close. But we can only have one winner. So let's take a look at the nominees. TikTok Juno Fan Choice. Avril Lavigne. Lauren Spencer Smith. Mackenzie Porter. Preston Pablo. Rev. Sean Mendez. Tate McRae. The Recklaws. The Weeknd. Tyler Shaw. And the TikTok Juno Fan Choice Award goes to...
Avril Lavigne. The fans have spoken as they have three times before. This is Avril Lavigne's fourth win in this category. Now, nobody try anything this time, or the, <laughs> the Canadian is gonna come out on me and I'll fuck a bitch. <laughs> this is so meaningful. Thank you so much. This isn't just an award. It's voted for by the fans, which is why I won it. I love you guys so much. Thank you. This was a really special year. Last year, I celebrated the 20th anniversary of my debut album, Let Go. I've seen the industry change so much. Music change, the business change, technology change. Trends come and go, artists come and go, but the one thing that's been most consistent for me is my fan base over the last 20 years. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you, the Junos. Thank you to my, ban to my fans. This one is for you guys. Thank you. This program features live content and contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's get ready to rock. It's almost time for our final performance from our latest inductees into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame performance presented by TD. But first, your host, Simu Liu. Edmonton, how you doing tonight? Now, for those of you just tuning in, Avril Lavigne just took home the award, the TikTok Fans Choice Award. Give it up for her one more time. <laughs> Big congrats to Avril, not only for winning the award, but also for handling that topless lady like a champion. My gosh. Now, when you hear this next band's name, you automatically think catchy tunes, hockey fights, and a hell of a lot of pyro. Please welcome quintessentially Canadian and newly minted Canadian Music Hall of Famers, Nickelback. I'm gonna stand in line, close and never get in a slot. Bottle of the night that I'm never gonna win this. Life hasn't turned out quite the way you want it to be. Let me hear you, Edmonton. I want a brand new house on an episode of Chris. The baseball in the king size tub, big enough example of me. I'll need a credit card that's got no limit. And a big black gym in the bedroom, and it's gone to the mile like a 37,000 feet. I'm on a train this life of fortune and fame. I need to cut my hair and change my name. We all just do wanna be big rock stars and living in South Africa driving 15 cars. The girls come easy and the drugs come cheap. We'll all stay skinny as we just won't eat and we'll hang out in the coolest bars. 
get the VIP with the movie stars. Every good girl thing is gonna wind up there. Playboy bunny with a big blonde hair. And well, baby, I wanna be a rock star. Sing it to me. Hell yes! As a wise man, couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing. Tried to live it like a blind man. I'm sick of time without a sense of feeling. And this is how you remind me. This is how you remind me of I really am. This is how you remind me. Wow, what a night. Give it up for Nickelback, everybody. Congratulations to all the award winners, nominees, and performers. Sorry for the boobs. And thank you for joining us for Canada's most important night in music. And congratulations to you, Canada, you cutie. We're doing pretty OK as a country, you guys. We have probably minimal interference in our elections. We represented hard at the Oscars last night. Shout out to everything, everywhere, all at once. We've got the best Olympic hockey team in the world. The men's team is also pretty good. Good night, everybody. Get home safe. That's our show.
program has ended. program has ended.